Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Uh, so I've been kind of under the weather, uh, so I'm feeling better now. I'll talk about it on the live stream. It's not that important. However, what I want to do talk about here is uh, shadow. What's so great about the shadow? Well, here I am. I can sit on my sofa here in my bedroom, and uh, I can have my keyboard and a mouse and Nvidia Shield Pro right there connected to my OLED which is my <coughs> excuse me C48 inch uh, C1048 inch OLED that I have and uh, it looks fantastic man this is shadow uh, people say to me, well, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to use shadow, something that's on the cloud? Well, maybe I don't feel like dragging my big giant PC uh, to be connected to my television. Now, I will be dragging my big giant PC to be connected to my television because of the Flight Simulator 2020, because I want to have the best possible 4K HDR experience. However, if you're just uh, somebody who's a casual PC guy, well, here I am sitting on my sofa here, kicking back, relaxed, uh, and there it is, my uh, my shadow, my PC. And I'm I'm even going to start the game right now. We'll do a free flight. By the way, it is shadow, just so you guys know. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's change the uh, airplane really quick here. We're going to go with something that I haven't used before. We'll go with a Cessna C20B. Let's go with that. Click OK. And let's go change and let's go to... Uh, let me see. So I selected the Los Angeles International Airport, California and uh actually i'm gonna change this uh this cessna i'm gonna go with something else uh we're gonna go with a money bravo dude just money bravo is my favorite go with that click ok or let's let's do bombardier uh 45. let's go with that and click fly now so here I am now I have my uh, mouse keyboard and my controller all connected to my Nvidia shield so I practically have created a a PC an invisible PC right there inside the uh, Nvidia shield pro and here I am and actually the quality is pretty good Depending obviously on your internet, uh, your internet speed, but the quality is pretty darn good. So, here, let me go ahead and uh, let me zoom out. It's at night. There's my controller right there. Obviously, we can go full screen, which I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna switch to a full screen and I'm gonna switch to a uh, daylight as a matter of fact and here I am obviously I can go to uh, full screen if I want to there it is uh, and now I'm going to use my controller my Xbox controller which is right here uh, so think of it like a PC that is invisible And I'm really surprised, hold on, I'm really surprised, wait a minute, alright, had a little bit of a problem there, I'm really surprised that I'm able to have this type of uh, quality on my OLED from a shadow, from a boost, everything's set to ultra, 
this this whole thing it's maxed out with the ultra settings and brand new textures beta fsx textures okay There it is right here, as you can see it. Brand new textures. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start flying. Here we go. Got to unlock the brake. And here we go. Say, uh, pretty amazing graphics, right? For shadow, this is all at ultra, ultra settings at shadow. All right, so let me go ahead and let me, uh, let me zoom out a little bit and let's go ahead there we go sorry I'm doing this with uh, with one hand one hand only but yeah this is through shadow let me turn the volume up I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But there it is. It's almost hard to believe that I'm doing this through shadow. And look at the quality on the OLED. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell a difference whether I am um, playing this locally or live streaming it from a uh, a server that's out there somewhere in, in Canada or a server that's out there in, in let's say Texas I believe that's the server I'm connected to they connected me to a Texas server and looks beautiful man there it is I mean, and there's my controller. Here, here's my controller right here. I'm using it to rotate and everything. This is shadow, guys. I, I know it's hard to believe, but uh, it is what it is. It is shadow. I mean, if you want the proof, uh, I mean, I can prove it to you. Right here. There it is. It's a shadow. And I can go back to it. And there it is. Amazing, huh? It is pretty amazing. By the way, I cannot wait for the flight simulator 2020. So. One more thing I want to say, uh, regarding the flight simulator, uh, 2020. You should be able to run it on Boost Shadow. I'm going to test it on Shadow. I really want to see if it's even possible <laughs> to run it on Shadow. But I have done some research and it's been confirmed that yes, you will be able to run the Flight Simulator 2020 on Shadow. And that's pretty awesome, man. That's pretty awesome that you will be able to do that. You know, um, 
but me personally I'm gonna use my computer I'm gonna use my uh, beast of a computer that I have I mean that's why I have it to enjoy 4k and HDR through HDMI 2.1 uh, cable connected to the C, uh, C10 48 inch OLED why not I mean I have this television I have 2.1 HDMI I have G-Sync I have Nvidia GPU I have pretty beefy uh, CPU and memory uh, I have a thermal thermal take liquid cooling I have a pretty good PC so why not enjoy 4k HDR at 40 frames per second because that's what Digital Foundry says. It says that the, at best, you will be able to get at 4K ultra settings like 40 frames per second. And they tested it on 2080. I think 2080 Ti. So yeah, it's pretty cool that we're doing this on shadow let's go and uh, let's do outside spot it looks amazing man and look how detailed everything is and this is from shadow I find it very uh, amazing how beautiful this game runs on Shadow. So this is why I use Shadow. I mean, why not? Why should I drag my PC, leave my PC in the, uh, in the office, uh, when I can just uh, do it through this? and enjoy it like this now one more thing I want to say before I end this video guys um, obviously nothing can replace your PC your personal computer that you built your personal computer that you have invested no one can uh, replace that you're gonna have to listen if you want to truly enjoy flight simulator 2020 you got to do it directly from your PC with your beefy GPU CPU memory uh, connected to a 48 inch C10 HDMI 2.1 OLED television turn on that 4k turn on that HDR and uh, turn on that G-Sync and enjoy the greatness of that game but but let's say you don't have a PC because they're pretty expensive they're not cheap let's say you don't have a PC and I think that's the whole point of this video that I'm making if you don't have a PC well this is a pretty darn good alternative if you ask me and I'm running this on uh, 18 megabits per second look how beautiful it looks now I can crank it up to 40 and sometimes I do but it's really not necessary the reason the quality is so good even at the 18 uh, megabits per second it's because you're using a H.265 um, codec for the low latency so therefore you're not gonna have that requirement for a higher bandwidth even with a lower bandwidth you will still reserve a good quality with H.265 if you guys want to learn more about the H.265 codec you can uh, google it you can search search it or you can talk to my friend Cameron D he will explain uh, H.265 codec really well for you because he is uh, he's a professional athlete but he also uh, it's a professional video production so he knows video better than better than me better than anybody out there because that's his that's his um, passion as well his hobby is the video so anyway 
I just gave a shout out to my <laughs> my friend Cameron D. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on a live stream later on today. I'll have something surprising for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, you will find out. Other than that, thank you for watching. Hey, like I said, I like that I have this option where I can use a shadow, okay, through my NVIDIA Shield. I like it. I like that I, that I have this ability to do this. And I think that's the one cool caveat about the shadow. It's a PC. It's not a gaming service. It's a PC and it looks great. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the live stream. Take care. Stay blessed.